Hi guys, my name is Artie. This is the Extended Principles of Working with Artifacts Generator course. So without further ado, let's get down to business. First of all, let's do a few more exercisers for beginners. Go to videohive.net to open an account by clicking Create an Envato account. If you already have one, ignore this. Now enter your first name, your last name, email, and hit Set up your Envato account button. Then type in your username, create a password, and click Create your Envato account. Then click the link to go to the purchase page and press Buy Now. Choose your payment method, Visa, MasterCard, or PayPal, and then proceed to check out. After purchasing, click your username in the upper right corner of the screen and go to Download section from the drop down menu. Hit Download from the list of options and download main file with license certificate and purchase code. Unzip the archive. I assume that you have already have Adobe After Effects installed, but if not, then go to adobe.com and download the app. Copy the script to After Effects directory. Please note that the script is for Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud 2014 or later versions. Now run After Effects. Windows, Extensions, select Artifacts Generator from the options available. If the option Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network pops out, tick this option right away. Then enter the data from License Certificate and Purchase Code file, which you've already downloaded from videohive.net. Notice that the script requires internet connection. Preview panel with all the existing FX animation previews in the pack, which can be further accessed from here. Just select the required animation from the list and click the icon next to Name to add the effects to your project composition. Information area displays frame rate, duration, and resolution. Create Gallery button to add new previews to the list box from Animation folder in the Project panel. Create preview galleries for your own animation pack with this button. Import Gallery button creates preview based on the external data file when you need to import your favorite FX animation to a gallery for external FX packs or to restore the galleries. Search bar allows you to find the required FX animation by keywords. Edit button creates a copy of FX animation to change colors, glow, and blur effects. Later you'll learn why this is very important. Tools button opens a panel with four tabs. Brainstorm. Select the category of elements from Types section and tags from the corresponding field. Set the direction in the relevant field and the additional settings in Extra. You can set the number of elements for mixing in Mix field. Choose resolution from presets or set those manually. After that, hit Generate. If you're not satisfied with what you see, click on Generate until the result meets your requirements. All the ready elements will be stored in Sandbox slash Mix directory in Project Panel. Brainstorm Preview button will display all generated options from which you can choose the elements that are best for you. The script renders an animated preview, which is saved in Brainstorm folder in After Effects project file directory. However, to understand its designation, we shall have a look at the structure of AE project with which the script works. The structure of the project. Animations folder. Here all the animations are stored. Their names contain tag words that indicate the animation type. The same information is used by the script for mixing. All the tags can be found in Type field in Brainstorm tab. Now at this point I'd like to stress that tags are a compilation of several different effects. The meaning of hits, kick and impact is similar, thus they're combined into impact. The same is with smoke, dust and steam, which are combined into smoke tag. FX animations in the project are divided into hand-drawn animations, now, by default, most animations have a resolution of 1000 by 1000 to optimize the speed of project operation, but you can set any desired value. The frame frequency is 24 and 30 for some FX animations. Transition. 
it's the successive animation from one frame to another. The basic resolution for this effect is 9020 by 1080 and 24 FPS. Mix. Generated combinations of FX animation. Assets. This folder contains animations without post-editing, which can be used as part of custom animations. Sandbox. The folder with animations generated by the script, as well as manually set animations, to avoid chaos in the project. Everything that comes in this folder remains invisible for the script, and therefore important animations should be transferred to the animations folder, so that the script could see those again during next sessions. Solid and source. Those are the folders with project files that should not be changed. Now let's switch to extra field in the script artifacts generator. It contains four buttons. Loop, custom, transition, and mix. Loop. When activated, the generation of new elements will include only those animations with the loop tag. Custom. The generation will include custom animations. Please, please know that this AE project does not contain custom animations. Transition. Only animations with the transition tag will be generated. Mix. The generation will include mix animations. Controls tab contains editing tools for FX animations and animations name adaptions from your packs. Now you'll hear the most boring description of the 18 buttons, so be all ear. So, the tab tools has three fields. Controls field contains eight buttons. Control layer. It adds a control layer to mix animation, where you can add color, glow, and blur post effects. Back smoke. This is a combination of post effects that I often use to create a smoke underlayer when animating an explosion. Blur adds blur effect. Tint enables changing the animation color. Hue is another way of changing the animation color. Pixelate is a stylization of pixel animation. Simplify simplifies animation shape if required by the task. Start, loop, end, SLE is necessary to create the beginning, the cycle, and the end of animation if these were not established initially. The field contains four buttons. Split SLE. It divides the animation into three parts with markers set in the timeline. Make Start creates the beginning of animation. Make Loop creates a cycle. Make End makes the animation's end. The Adapt Name field transforms the name of animation in a type that will be understandable for the script. This function is necessary when you need to adapt animation's name from other packs. The field contains the search line, in which the user enters the first word from the name of the animation that needs to be renamed, the replace line, which consists of four fields with drop down presets. The first line replaces the search content, the other lines add words chosen from a preset in a successive manner. After pressing the Rename button, all the points described earlier will be applied and the name will be changed. For example, we have Energetic Ultra Super Weapon with Radial Distribution of Particles. Enter Energetic Ultra Super in the search line and select Preset Energy in the Replace line. Then select Tags, for example Impact, Direction and the category to which the effect belongs, Custom. Then choose Animations in the Project panel and press Rename. Now we have Energy Weapon 1 Impact Radial Custom. We've got two more tabs to go. The Export tab contains two fields. To Sprite Sheet, exporting animation to Texture Atlas. To make it happen, you need to select an animation, hit Update, and the script will automatically choose a grid for optimal frames placement, which you can change if necessary. Select resolution from a preset or enter it manually. Select the required frame rate and downloading format from a preset format. Then hit Make Sprite Sheet. Set a path for saving and enjoy the result. Use the information in the grid field called Cell Size. It'll help you to import sprite sheets into Unity. The Sprite Sheet field works only for animations that have 1 to 1 frame aspect ratio, so don't forget about it. To Sequence Fill, from which you can select or manually set the resolution, select the frame rate and format from a preset. Press the button Make Sequence. Select a path for saving and enjoy what you see. The Help tab. Alrighty, that's the last one. This tab contains two fields. Help, 
Here you'll find links to detailed tutorials for the script and notification history. This field stores history of past crucial notifications. If you failed or didn't want to see those for some reason, for instance, if any of you guys went into labor or is watching a football game during a notification, that's totally okay. You can always read it later. Ah, oh, we did it. The extended course on the artifacts generator is officially over, guys. That's it.